Today we pick up our Bible study in Revelation chapter 22, verse 12. Throughout Scripture, we find teachings of God rewarding each person for the works they have done. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 9 through 10, quoting from the New King James Version, the Lord declares, The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? I, the Lord, search the heart, test the mind, even to give every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doings. The Lord has declared in today's Bible passage of Revelation chapter 22, verse 12, And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to give to everyone according to his work. We must also take note of how the wording is in this passage. It is not listed, at least in the New King James Version, as for everyone, but for every one. This indicates a reward for the individual person, not every one as a whole. This is a promise of reward according to one's work. We must also be aware that the reward is only for the righteous, who are only found righteous through Christ and putting one's faith in Him as their Savior. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 17 through 21, the Bible teaches us, And if you call on the Father, who without partiality judges according to each one's work, conduct yourselves throughout the time of your stay here in fear, knowing that you were not redeemed with corruptible things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. He indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you who through him believed in God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory so that your faith and hope are in God. Dear Lord, we know that you sent your one and only son, Jesus, to pay the price for our sins by dying sinlessly on the cross, the only way to redeem us, a sinless death in our place, which overcomes sin. Jesus represented us on the cross. Please help us to be thankful for what he has done for us by putting our faith in him and receiving the gift of your Holy Spirit to dwell within us and be our guide. As we learn in John chapter 14, verse 12 through 27, to doing works that are reflective of you, the seal to eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.